Hello my friends, this is Wake Angel 2001 coming at you with a review of the Oil Ocean Quest playset expansion. Yes, this is a set of upgrades and new figures for the Oil Ocean playset, which um, I kind of hesitate to call Jack Pacific's little sets play sets because they're so small, um, but they are really nice diorama setups for your figures at the very least. I didn't get the Oil Ocean playset because, you know, like I don't really have the play space for all these little diorama things. I barely have room for the figures themselves, but um, yeah, if you if you were interested in it, then it was available. I've actually passed by it over a couple times at Target, but funnily enough, I found this set of all places at Walgreens. Yeah, because starting at the beginning of October, pretty much all retailers start to expand their toy sections in anticipation of the holiday season. So with the second toy aisle at Walgreens, they had some new Sonic stuff in there, including this playset. And I have not seen it at any other retailers. I haven't seen it at Macy's, I haven't seen it at Target, GameStop, uh, Collector Cave, or, or any comic stores. Like, I, the first place I see this set is freaking Walgreens of all places. I don't know. Um, but anyway, uh, the reason I got this set is because it has the brand new figure of Octus, the Octopus Badnik from, featured in Oil Ocean Zone. It also has re-releases of classic Knuckles, Sonic, and some upgrades for the, uh, they call them Obelisk Towers, upgrades for the playset. Uh, again, this is where I put in my complaint because this is yet another multi-pack hostage. Uh, Octus has not seen individual release yet, meaning if you want to get this figure, you gotta buy this upgrade set. It only costs 20 bucks, but you're getting three figures, um, which normally would retail for 15 and then random plastic junk, which if you don't have the place that is kind of gonna sit around. So yeah, I feel like I feel like this is another multi-pack hostage. I hate multi-pack hostages. Uh, I gotta... I, I feel like I'm contributing to the problem by buying this set, but I really want to complete my Badnik roster. So let's get this box open and see how Octus is. And here is the set once you get all the figures out of it. Uh, well, you got Classic Knuckles, just a re-release of Classic Knuckles, nothing special about that. Uh, classic Sonic with the jovial expression rather than the battle expression. Nothing weird about this figure, except it appears that his right foot was attached at a weird angle. If we look closely, his hips are facing forward if you look at the pin discs. It's just that this foot, it goes way out to the side. Um, maybe it's to accommodate something of a foot tapping pose? Maybe? To make it look better from a three-quarter perspective to show off the side of his shoe? But... You know, like, that's that that's the thing. Uh, for all I know, they just attached the foot at a weird angle in the factory. I don't know. Um, and then the, the accessories include one of those little fire cap springboard things, which actually is spring-loaded for what it's worth. Um, I remember in the in the level, this thing would be down like this, and then every now and then the fire would cause the cap to burst up. It would, it would go up into the air and then land back in. Um, and that was how you use your spring, and if you timed your jump wrong, you jump onto the fire by mistake. And then these things, which are just random background elements. They don't have any functional purpose in the level, except to make it look the way it does. And, um, you know, there's a little hole in the bottom so it could peg into the play sets, and the little, the little gem thingy on top of the thing rotates. And that's it. That's, that's all the things that the accessories do. All right, so let's get all the filler material out and take a look at the new element, well, the new element that people actually care about, Octus. Um, Octus has one point of articulation. The head turns, although like in this context, it's more like the tentacles spin so that it, oop, oop, I hit my camera. The tentacles spin so that it can like jump into the air and shoot an ink ball at Sonic. Um, the legs are not individually articulated uh, I could see because there's like eight of them, but I remember crab meat had individually articulated legs So I'm feeling kind of upset that they didn't actually do it for this guy I can see why but hey, this is a multi-pack hostage. So I'm holding it to a little bit of a higher standard Although it is nice that there's like no screw holes or anything anywhere on this figure So whether you're looking at it from the left the right the front or the back It's all gonna be a good except of course for the uh serial number on the back, although that is just painted on. You can probably rub a Q-tip with nail polish and move over that and get rid of it. Um, the bottom has copyright information, Sega, Jax, China. 
And if you look at the bottom of those little octopus feet, they actually are slightly concave, like they're suction cups. A nice touch. Um, yeah, paint details, everything is everything is in place. The figure, the figure looks really good. Like, this is a very nice little octus. I just wish I could have gotten it by itself for five bucks instead of having to buy all that other stuff for 20. <laughs> like, seriously, it's such a little thing. Uh, but yes, Octus, Octus will make a good addition to the classic Badnik roster. Although I'm starting to feel a little bit uh, targeted because I've been wanting Roller from Spring Yard Zone for the longest time, and we're getting a whole bunch of other classic Badniks, including game, including ones from you know Sonic 2. So yeah, hopefully this gets rectified and uh, we will get my favorite Badnik from the first game soon. Alright, so thanks for watching. This is Wake Angel 2001, signing off.